Dear learners of marketing management course, we are discussing unit 5 that is on market segmentation. In part 1 of the video, I discuss about two learning objectives. In this uh, second video, I shall take up two other learning objectives. The two other learning objectives are to recognize the basis of market segmentation. How market segmentation is done? What, is the, what are the basis? Based on what segmentation of market is done? So we all know the market comprises one is the consumer market, the other one is industrial market. That itself is a segment, consumer market and industrial market. Then we shall try to identify the requirements of market segmentation. So what are the basis of market segmentation? First we shall address that. Then we shall identify the, what are the requirements of market segmentation. Basis for market segmentation ultimately in the ultimate purpose of market segmentation is to select a particular target segment where we can have advantages of uh, being ahead of our competitors being able to satisfy the needs of profitable customers and to sustain our marketing activities over a longer period of time so we can think about this market segmentation from three perspectives one is the needs and characteristics of the buyers need to be assessed. We can contact the market research and based on the market research, we can identify the needs and characteristics of the consumers. Say some of the industrial adhesives like say dendrite, we all know, these were industrial adhesives but after contacting market research, the marketers have found that if the product is made available in small quality, in small quantities, that will appeal to the target consumers also, the mass consumers also. So accordingly we find those small dendrite tubes right, in different outlets. It has almost become a fast mobile consumer goods type of things. It's easily available in small packets. So marketing research will give us definitely insights about which market a segment to be targeted. Then customers are grouped into different segments in according to with these characteristics. Domestic consumers or say consumers as such or say industrial consumers. Industrial consumers also say large scale buyers, small scale buyers, medium industries. You can think about different kinds of segmentation. So this segmentation should be able to bring out meaningful differences among customers which the organization can exploit by designing a unique value proposition because customers are basically value maximizers. They would like to maximize their value in terms of maximizing the benefits by spending least possible amount. So that is the value equation. Customers would look for certain solution. So accordingly we can think about that and ultimately in the end we shall try to single out, select right, one or more markets as target segments. So we all know the other markets can be divided into consumer markets and organizational market markets. Consumer markets U and B. U and B as household consumers, as domestic consumers. Organizational markets like the industries, institutions, government. These are all organizational markets. Offices, they are all, all organizational markets. So the office buying certain products, a bank's buying locks and U and B buying locks. We shall be buying locks for our household purposes, right? So that we can keep our household safe from theft, decoity, burglary, etc. Banks will be highly concerned about safety because they will be concerned about safety of their documents, safety of the money, the consumer's money, ultimately the public money. So they will need a different kind of safety solutions. So organizational markets, domestic markets. So it is the two types we all know consumer market and organizational market. Consumer market covers the ultimate cultures, you and me, our needs are different. Organizational market covers even the wholesalers, retailers, distributors, dealers. They are also all organizational market. Suppliers, they also belong to the organizational market. So their requirements are different. Say you and me, we form the consumer markets. How can a marketer segment about the consumer market? Suppose we all, many of us, drink the health beverages, say Horlicks, Viva, Maltova, Boost, is not it? You can name different brands. So we all go for different kinds of health beverages. Some of these health beverages are white beverages, 
some of these health beverages are say brown beverages. Say boost. Boost is a brown beverage. It's not it. Like I say, Viva is a white beverage. So the beverage market is segmented. Say white beverages, brown beverages. Some of the consumers prefer white beverages. Some of the consumers prefer brown beverages. Some of the consumers say even say complant. It's a health drink for growing children. It's not it. Likewise, Horlicks is segmented. Say baby for the babies, for the young adults, for the aged people, for the women. We find different varieties of Horlicks. These are basically what these are. The market is segmented. Say beverage market, white market, white beverages, brown beverages, white beverages, brown beverages into different segments say for adults. Likewise, say complex. Uh, uh, we can think about it as a breakfast cereal. But there is nothing harm if we take it in the afternoon also. But more or less, it is positioned as a breakfast meal only. So consumer markets can be divided into various variables. Say geographic variables, say northern market, eastern market, northeast India market, say Assam market, say Kamrup market, say Guwahati market. We can think about the different distinct variables in terms of geography. Rural market, urban market. Rural market, rural market means something which is a combination of rural and urban or a semi-urban market. Based on demographic variables, as I have told you, based on age, based on income, say for in the high income category people, our products will be different. For the low income category people, our products will be different. You can think about it's a Parker pen. Right? Parker pen could make a, is, may not be available at 10 rupees, whereas a Renault pen may be available at 10 rupees. There could be some ballpoint pens who would be, might be, which might be available at rupees 3 also. And say suppose Parker ballpoint pens right, can be made available at 50 rupees also. Right? Many times we just make use of that as a birthday gift like that. And based on psychological variables also, based on lifestyle, you may, you may observe some of the shootings and sorting advertisement. In the advertisement, they show a complete person, say Ramon, complete person means what? That person is able to go for horse riding, that person is able to play golf, that person is uh, helping a person, a blind person on the street. It's a complete in all respect. So our products are meant for those complete persons only. So they try to create an imagery of that sort. And it could be buyer behavior variables in terms of their user status. Say in case of airlines, there are some frequent players. They always keep on flying from different, place, from different places to different places. They are moving around. So they would be like they would like to be categorized themselves as frequent flyers. So the airlines companies will be offering certain kinds of discounts to the frequent flyers based on their mileage of flying. So these are the variables based on which the market is segmented. Likewise, organizational market also is segmented. Uh, it depends upon the type of the customer. It depends upon the size of the customer. It depends upon the type of the buying situations. Some of the organizations are very very bulk buyers. Think about Steel Authority of India Limited, Railways, Indian Railways. It's a big buyer. That itself is a big, big, big market for many of the marketers. Like we say, for the Steel Authority of India Limited, Railways would be a big market. It's not it. Likewise, say for Steel Authority of India Limited, there could be very some small buyers also. Suppose it's a local steel manufacturing unit, there is a small buyer. Say Steel Authority of India Limited will be having different kinds of products. So they will be having a different strategy for marketing to Indian railways. They will be having a different strategies for marketing to the local level steel manufacturers. So size of the customer, type of the customer, and the type of the buying situations. Some of them will bulk, will go for bulk buying only for say once in a year. They will pile up inventories. And some of them may not go for a bulk buying. So they will go for repeat process and repeat process only. They will bulk buy in small quantities but they will buy in a repeated manner. So this way the organization markets also can be categorized into different segments. Say large segment, small segment, medium segment, tiny segment, frequent buyers, uh, infrequent buyers, modified buyers. They always go for straight revi only, will not go for different kinds of considerations, all this. Ultimately the marketer will go for targeting these markets. One is undifferentiated targeting. Undifferentiated targeting is we are going to serve the entire mass market with one mass product. And that is unlikely to be possible. In case of say sugar, we can think about say, sugar as a commodity. But in today's context, even sugar is also branded. Branded means what? A segment has been identified. Say Asirwa Raka. So it's different from other Raka. 
Captain Cook is different from other salt. It's not like the common salt. So we do not have the kind of common salt that we have. We have the iodized salt. Out of iodized salt, we have got Captain Cook. We have got Asilbad. We have got different brands. Means what? When these marketers are trying to differentiate the market. So undifferentiated marketing is likely to be right, not found in today's context. Then basically it's concentrated targeting. Suppose say Godrej Easy Woolen Detergent. That is concentrated. It's only for woolen, woolen products only, not for all kinds of clothes. So that is concentrated. And it could be multi-segment. Suppose Godrej they themselves will be having a different, say Procter & Gamble, they will be having different, different detergents. Hindustan Unilever, say Surf is there, Sunlight is there, Rin is there, OK is there. So they are present in multiple segments with different different brands. Some of them even say Ariel. So they will be having different different products. So each of them will be attribute will be at uh, uh, will be targeted to a definite distinct set of buyers. So with this we have uh, tried to cover the different basis of segmentation and what could be the approaches for market segmentation. In the third part of this. Uh, video we shall take up the other two learning objectives thank you